Everyone is vulnerable to dry skin, but did you know that one in five babies has eczema? This is compared to one in 13 adults. McLean Dermatology and Skin Care Center founder, Dr. Lily Talakoub, is here to share some tips to help your kids out. Good morning to you, Doctor. Uh, Lily, thanks for joining us. Good morning. How are you? Good. So this is really interesting. Those numbers really tell the story. First off, though, what is eczema for those who aren't familiar? Eczema is a genetic disease of the skin where the skin can't hold in moisture. And when you can't hold in moisture, it dries out, becomes inflamed, and kids tend to scratch and become very uncomfortable throughout their lives if they suffer for eczema. But winter is the worst. The dry air, the dry heat strips that moisture from the skin even more and they become inflamed. And what does it look like? I know we're seeing images here, but what, what does it tend to look like? It can have a variety of looks, but generally the skin is dry, cracked, red, inflamed. Some babies tend to be red all over. Mm. And studies have shown that kids with eczema don't sleep well at night, the parents don't sleep well at night, and actually over time, kids don't do as well in school because they're so bothered by the itch. Yeah, I think people underestimate how disruptive it can be, as you mentioned, not just for the child, but everyone else. Um, what are the causes? Folks might be surprised by that. Yes, so it is genetic, but the dry air is one of the big causes and also inflammation of the skin. The moisture wicks away and the skin becomes so dry, it becomes red and itchy. So it is something that cannot necessarily be prevented. By doing things at home, it's really mm. important to kind of keep the moisture in the skin, not overwashing it, making sure you moisturize the skin very well every single day, morning and night for your children, making sure that the skin kind of stays hydrated all day long. Now, you mentioned uh, moisturize it. I, it's not just any lotion that you slather on. What, what would you recommend? Something that's a cream. Lotions are actually things that come out of a pump. Those are too, too, um, too smooth. You need something that's creamy and rich. So get something out of a tub that says cream or balm. Mm. Use things that really kind of have an ointment base. Slather it on head to toe, particularly right after a shower. Two to three minutes after a shower is actually the best time to put things on. And don't avoid taking baths or giving your kids baths because actually that helps open up the pores and the moisture from the creams and balms soak in better. So you want the skin to be a little damp, would you say? or Always yeah. lube up your children at night. Get a dermatologist seat if the skin becomes cracked or red. Infections happen in the skin when the skin is scratched and it opens and there's cracks. So if you, your child looks red, irritated, it actually can be a sign of infection and the infection can cause the eczema to actually flare even more. And I'm glad you mentioned uh, seeking help. I, I think some folks might think, hey, just dry skin, put some lotion on, maybe apply some of the tips that you're saying. But, but it is encouraged to proactively seek expert help to see what you can do, what else you can do. Absolutely. Seeing a doctor really early can help control the symptoms. The kids can actually sleep better at night. They're not as irritated. They're not itchy. It's a very uncomfortable disease. So seeking help early is really important. It can also be tied to allergies. So we can test for some of those allergies to avoid the symptoms as well. Anything else we should know about? Seek help early and make sure you actually really kind of do a preventative, you know, soothing of uh, creams and lotions on your children in the winter because drying out of the skin is one of the first signs. All right. These are really helpful. Uh, good to know. How, where can folks go, by the way, uh, for more information for you? www.mcleanskin.com, our office in McLean, and we can help pediatric children as early as, you know, two weeks old for, with eczema. All right, good to know. Uh, Dr. Lily Talakoub joining us this morning, also a friend of the show. Always appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right.